Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shaggy If you are new to my channel, just want to say hi. I hope you guys are doing good. Today is Saturday, October 24th at 5.41. Yesterday was my mom's birthday and also the 17th. So, um, yeah, I know. My sister and my mom have the same birthday, so which I'm jealous. Um, their birthday is October 17th. But yeah, I was just spending time with them. I'm so sorry for not filming this whole past week. I thought I could keep up um, with the Vlogtober, Vlogtober, I think. I probably did day four and then I quit. I'm so sorry. I'm really bad at that. So I wouldn't want to record a video that was super boring. So yes. But I hope you guys are doing good. I'm actually going to do a couple of creep creepy stories from Reddit. So um, as I said in the other video, I'm going to get credit to... I don't know if you guys can see her. That's my little like CJ's. Um, that's her name. She's a YouTuber also. And she created this Reddit. So I'm so sorry if you hear wind. It's really hot in here. It's making my hair, you know, really pretty. But yes, it's really hot in this room. So that's the reason why I have um, air in the room. I have an air over there. Oh, right here. So yes, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Let's get started. So. <clears throat> This one is creepy guy that don't fall. So, let's get comfortable. <clears throat> this is um, creepy guy that stalked me at the local library. This is like my fifth, probably third time recording, but I had to charge my camera because somehow I forgot to turn it off. So I have my handy dandy laptop and also my wireless mouse. <clears throat> okay. So this one is by, I don't know if you want me to put your name out there, so I'm not going to, just for, you know, safety reasons. So, <clears throat> oh, okay. this one says, this is probably going to be short, but okay. So I used to go to the library every day because I live close to it. I always read my book outside of the bench because, like, I don't know, I hate people. Same. LOL. But anyway, so I noticed this guy would always be parked of be parked in front of the library doors. Like if you drop someone off there and go park, but he just sat there. After a while, I noticed he was clearly taking pictures of me or something because he was holding his phone on the dashboard. Like how? Like how someone wouldn't know we casually text in this position. So I was starting to get kind of sketched out and this went on for three days. And the third day he came out of this car and walked towards me and he handed me a pack of cigarettes. Mind you, I was literally 14 at this time. He said these three, these three, these four, hold on. These three for you, he was like Asian or something and I was... And I freaked out, so I said thank you to try it to end the conversation. He just stood there, so I closed my book and went to stand up. And he put his hand on my shoulder and said, use it one now. And obviously, I wasn't going to smoke. I was 14 for blank sake. At this point, I got the attention of this homeless couple, and they told me him to back off. And he got his car, but in left. But I don't think this is the end of... Don't think this is the end. Oh no, honey. <laughs> I didn't go back for like a week or so. But I had to return my book. So I went back and thought I would be safe. If I brought, I mean, I thought I would be safe. I brought my sister with me, but I was so wrong. He walked, we walked out after returning the book. And I saw his car. And my heart dropped. It was parked. Hold on, I'm trying to go down. Okay. It was parked at this time. And it was in the lot that we had to walk through to get home we're standing at the entrance kind of arguing because i was being a blank i'm not gonna say it but it starts with me and didn't want to walk past his car and she was telling me to grow some so while we while we were arguing he walked out of the door that we just walked through and he told me on my sister and put his hand on my neck like trying to steer me away from her and she grabbed my art and stopped him he said fine I'll go in my car and give you a ride. And I really didn't want to escalate the situation. So I said, oh, no, that's fine. We parked over here, or over there, sorry. And he kept insisting he go get his car. So I said, okay, fine, we'll wait here. 
We waited until he got to his car and shut the door and then we booked it across the lot into the churchyard and he was telling he was yelling after us and I swear to God that was the fastest I ran ever in my life. We did it, one of our home just in case he was following us, so we hid under the side in this little kid playground in the church and I saw his car circling the area looking for us. Thank God I had my sister with me that day because he was a big guy. And I was a 14 year old girl. If he tried to get me into that car, I don't think he'll be, I don't think I'll be here right now. So to that creepy Asian guy who stopped me at the library and took pictures of me and tried to get me into your car and let's not meet again. Whew, wow. So, um, to the person that posted that video, I mean posted that, um, this one, the creepy guy that stopped me at the library. The creepy guy that stopped me at the local library. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yes, that's this is the truth about being a girl, about being a woman can't bear it. So <clears throat> I'm so sorry that happened to you. Um this guy you say, you know, that happens a whole lot. So luckily for me I never had that happen, but um thank God that you're here and you're telling us the story so that way you can be more careful. It's kinda Point it's kind of scary that we we women can't go out anywhere or like we can't go to the store without men harassing us but i hope you guys do carry pepper spray laser i mean uh, pepper spray or anything like that or a gun but do make sure you have your license with you your permit so i'm going to excuse me i'm going to read another story Wow. Okay. This is Haunted Cabin in Flagstaff, Arizona. Um, shout out to you if you're from Arizona. I'm not going to put your name or anything um, on this video. So this is the second story. It's a Haunted Cabin in Flagstaff, Arizona. AZ. So I'm gonna read it. So a few months ago, toward the end of July, my mom, stepdad, and I were getting a little stir crazy with being quarantined in our house in Hot Springs, er, Phoenix, Arizona. It turns out one of our family friends owns a cabin in Flagstaff, so we figured we would go there for a long weekend for a safe pandemic family family vacation. It was just three three of us, our three dogs, and we stayed in the cabin all weekend. Didn't even go to town. My first mistake going to this trip was watching the first Strangers movie this weekend before we left, or if anyone who don't know, who doesn't know, it's basically about people being paralyzed and killed while staying in the cabin. I never heard of that. So yeah, basically I was on the edge, but it turns out this cabin was on a golf course, so it wasn't too creepy or secluded at all. The way the cabin was set up was there was the owner's bedroom downstairs along with other bedrooms that my mom and stepdad were staying in. There was a kitchen, a living room, upstairs. There was one bedroom I would be in and office guests along with the bathroom between the upstairs hallway was open and opening the living room. My first red flag was in my bedroom. There was a huge mirror on the right. There was a huge mirror right on the wall in the foot of my bed. I wear this is a no no go. So I immediately covered up with a blanket from the bed. Everything was fine. Excuse me, until the first night when we all went to bed. As soon as the lights were off, I felt just weird, a little creeped out. So I figured it was just the a new environment. Because of this, I didn't really sleep at all and was just super paranoid. At this point during the night, I was laying, I was just laying on my bed, my side, trying to fall asleep, and I saw the sheets pulling off my shoulder and I saw them like behind me and lifting up the sheet to go after me. I obviously freaked out and just browsed my phone until I eventually fell asleep. The next day, I told my mom about this and we just laughed and, laughed and talked about how the cabin was probably haunted. But anytime I would go back upstairs to do my makeup or in the bathroom or change, I would feel something. I would, I just felt super comfortable like I shouldn't be up there. None of my dogs left, liked it up there anyway. I would just sniff around my room and looked around like they were trying to track something. That night, I decided to sleep 
up there again, but only last there about 45 minutes. Okay, let me go. Ooh. I was in bed trying to fall asleep, and even though nothing happened, it was like my brain was just screaming at, screaming at me to leave, and I had this overwhelming of doom that I never experienced before. It was insane. I grabbed my blanket and down decided to go to sleep downstairs on the couch. In the living room, the whole time I was down there, there was a, the feeling never came back. But I had this feeling that like I shouldn't look upstairs since the hallway overlooked the living room. I had a clear view. I felt like there was some sick, serious negative injury coming, no negative injury energy coming up from there. Even though nothing crazy happened, that's the most uncomfortable series of events that I ever had. And I stepped on the couch. I stepped on the couch of the rest of the stage. A near weird random thing is about a week after we stayed, the homeowners, the homeowners went up to stay in the cabin. She texted, texted us about immediately and said that we must have left that old navy, old spice body wash and upstairs shower. The when I used the body wash was none of ours and it definitely was wasn't there when I used that shower a week or two before nobody or before him. Nobody has gone into the cabin between our visit and the homeowner. So it was just strange and super creepy. Super random but not very creepy. So wow. Wow. So I love that story. I'm trying to find it. So that one is haunted. I'm sorry if I um what's it called? I started a whole lot. I'm actually gonna drink water because the girl starts to that'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna drink water and I'm gonna tell you guys another story. Okay. I was clearly thirsty, so Okay, anyway. I think we should read one more, but I'm gonna make sure it's short. So. Um, I hope you guys get comfortable. Sorry I'm taking this way, but. I know you have to Okay. Let's see. Okay, here's this one guy who was trying to murder someone in the forest. So this one is by, I won't say her name or his name. So the guy who was trying to murder someone in the forest. So this one's really good. So right, keep moving in. So disclaimer, I'm not native English speaker. So sorry for my bad English. It's okay. You don't mind. I want to share one of scariest photo shoot of my entire of my whole entire life not only because of creepy subject but also creepy guy you can treat this as a caution hotel so last night my mother and i we were both 21 females and went to do photo shoot we wanted to do it for a long time so basically i wanted dead girl in your headlights i wanted dead girl in your headlights at night type of photo it was 9 a.m. boat, already pitch black here. We found some deserted road in the middle of nowhere and started to shoot. We went through two outfits and she changed, started to change into third. And then all of a sudden we saw a car in the forest. There was dirt road to the left of the left of us. Apparently he got stuck in the mud and couldn't get out. I posted a video of it in the comments. We were waiting for him to get unstuck and drive wherever. He wanted to drive, but it was taking long. Taking so long, we decided to go and for and shoot. Okay, let me see. Okay, she was trying to change. It's not so easy. It's not so easy in dark. It's my car, so I decided to go outside and get my settings ready so she wouldn't need to stand in the cold rain for too long. As soon as I got out, the dude magically got unstuck and sped to the road we were on. So I hope I hopped in the car. We lost the door and sat there in that moment we were a little scared but still he could be very well just stuck in that road and just get out he pulled to the driver's seat where my model sat like 10 10 centimeters from her 
from her car. He almost broke her side mirror, which his with his and looked into our car. We had this big butcher knife for photos, and she put it right from her bag. She put it from her bag and showed it to him. That's when he sped off. We decided to go to the office wait opposite way just in case he decided to block the road or something but we that we met dead and hold on, we met dead end and had to go back we went when we went to the place we met this creep he was in the same spot as before pretending to be stuck again so we sped right past him and called the police because we, he, we thought he could be just waiting for someone to go up to her and then harm them. Excuse me, okay. So guys, please be safe. Pay attention to your surroundings and maybe don't go taking photos in some deserted roads. If you want to, I can show you a video of him pretending to be stuck in forest before creepy ass creepy basement blanks happened. Let's say he was arrested for having a gun with without gun permit or whatever it's called English with him in the car. Wow. So that was a very creepy story. I'm just going to end it there. So that was um guy who was trying to murder someone in the forest. Um I'm going to leave it right there. Okay, I'm going to shut it. Okay. Yes. Um I hope you guys as I was saying, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Okay, sorry about that. I hope you guys do enjoy the, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Uh, definitely let me know what kind of videos so you guys would like to see. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions, don't forget to ask me in the comments below um i hope you guys are doing good don't get too scared and like she said always be aware of your surroundings and make sure to not to go make sure not to go to a deserted um roadway or anything like that or a forest we know that so yeah i hope you guys do enjoy today's video thank you guys so much for watching